E85 QJet 101 information. All right. First thing, right here, this is the fuel inlet. You got to open that up to 152.0152. Then you have to get a check ball and make another seat because nobody sells these big enough. 152 seems to work. Going bigger, you're going to run into problems with the needle actually like contacting enough of the sides to seal it off. You have to pull these emulsion tubes out. And uh, Cliff Ruggles and Rocky Ritella's books both tell you how to do that. Uh, making the hole bigger is going to lean it out. Making the hole bigger at the other end is going to richen it because it adds less air. I don't drill any more holes in the sides of them, but I tend to open them up a little bit. That way I can go with a little bit more flow through my boosters. There's a hole in here where you uh, drill it out, and that increases the flow through the booster. It'll make more power, but you'll kill mileage if you go too big. And finding a drill bit small enough to not go too big is a challenge. So the jets, you have to drill those. They go right up in here. They're not in this one. Because nobody makes jets big enough to go to E85. How big it is depends on the calibration of the carb, the size of the engine, you know, lots of things like that. It's basically just jetting. You just drill out a set of jets. The secondaries, they are back in the back here. If I can get some light in there. Those, back in here, you can open up a little bit so you can use a regular meeting, metering rod. And then you uh, don't have to worry about turning those down or not running them at all because you should run them. They really help. Let's see. The uh, accelerator pump, can't remember if it's this hole or this hole. It's one of them. Corresponding to the accelerator pump passage in the cover that goes on top of the Q-Jet, there's sometimes uh, a nub in the passage that restricts the flow. You need to take that out. Not every one of them has it. Then, let's see, you need to pull the idle mix screws out right here and drill those out to at least a tenth of an inch, 0.1. You do that and then you'll get your uh, idle back because otherwise you got to back them all the way out to get something. And you do that and you have pretty much converted a Q-Jet to E85. There's a few other little things you should do. The Air bleeds in the back, they matter. You want to do things to richen the carb, not lean it. So making holes smaller for air bleeds and larger for fuel makes it rich. It's a pretty simple thing.